We've got the May and June Banking Creek kit. This kit is a fatty, dude. It's filled full of lures, stuff. We're gonna break a few of them down, catch some fish, and have some fun. First bait we're starting the day out with is a Mondo Buzz Bay. We've got the Booyah Squelcher in white and chartreuse, and it is a beautiful buzz bait. You got big open pond and a big buzz bait. Chunk this dude, whether it be the corner of the ponds, parallel of the ponds, out in the middle of the pond, it don't matter, dude. We've got a perfect overcast sky today, which means I could throw it virtually all day. Perfect. We're in the Woolies right now, and there is a big log lay down over here, and I'm gonna take my big old blade, and I'm gonna slow roll it over the top. And that's what you wanna do with this buzz bait. You wanna do it real slow real slow and loud it makes a lot of erratic noise a lot of react action and you're gonna get a bite like they're gonna fly up and they're gonna blow up on this dude we've got the booyah blade in chartreuse shad it's got whites blue chartreuse it's shiny it's bright it's vibrant we got some murky water so i feel like that flash is gonna pull these fish right off of these banks because i'm casting right out here in the open i see a whole bunch of bait fish popping around so let's see what happens we're gonna fling it out there and we're gonna get bit <laughs> God, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of moss and junk on the bank, and I've got the booyah blade spinner bait tied on out of the kit, and I was just popping it along, trying to get out of that junk and that reaction right there at the bank caused this dude to fire up and come get it. So why is the booyah blade so effective right now? Simple. We've got overcast skies, super dark day. We've got super murky water and a mondo pond, and all the wind is blowing everything up against this side so most of the fish i'm going to catch today are going to be on this side of the bank i'm going to go ahead and tie on the boo jig out of the kit throw it around in the same spot and i guarantee i get bit we've got the black green pumpkin boo jig quarter ounce boo jig tied on and we're gonna we're gonna put a crawl pappy trailer on there that comes in the kit in green pumpkin so all i'm gonna do with this guy is put it in the exact same place i put the spinner bait but i'm gonna fish it slower we're not gonna be so high up we're gonna be crawling on the bottom <laughs> fine we smoked one so what we did is we came to the other side of the pond i wasn't really getting bit over there so i was like man i'll try throwing from the other direction and i threw right parallel to that bank again and we caught us another a really cool feature about this bait is it rattles best thing about that being is well like i mentioned earlier this water is dirty this rattle just a little something extra a little something extra pull them out there he is we stuck him <laughs> I knew a better fish lived in this hole. I freaking knew it. I ain't gave up on it. I've been fishing this jig every way possible. But there towards the end, I fished it way more like a swim jig. I started speeding it up and keeping it closer to the top instead of the bottom. And what did that equal? It equaled this fat mama right here. Mm. All right, we've grinded through the woolies. We've made it through the mud. I'm covered in mud. But that's not what's important. What's important is we're rocking this dude out in luxury. We've made it to the dock. We've got a chair. And what's most important is we've got a finesse worm in the color GB Haze on a shaky head. But not just any shaky head. It is the 332nd ounce shaky head. Matches up perfectly with this worm. So we're going to sit back, relax, cast out here. We've got it on 14 pound braid. That is just going to allow me to get these fish from all the way down there up here without worrying. A good tip with this finesse worm and this shaky head to help you be a little bit more dialed in is if you're throwing out there in open water, just leave it hooked up regular. Just run it right down the shaft of the hook. But you get somewhere woolly, you get a lot of grass, a lot of vegetation in the water. You could Texas rig this thing and just chunk it out there, shake it around. To rig it weedless, you're just going to run the hook through the nose of that bait all the way up the shaft. You're going to poke it through the belly, come out through its back, and then poke it again, keeping that hook unexposed there he was there he was just like all the rest of them right on the edge of the bank so as you could tell we had to leave the luxury of the dock and come back to the sticks but that's okay can't always can't always get what you want but we made it happen baby now that we're back where we're comfortable let's talk about the rest of the lures out of this kit you're gonna get three norman deep baby ends all in different shad patterns this bait dots six to eight feet which is perfect for whenever it's a super hot day and those fish want to be positioned out deeper 
first color in the norm is going to be Evo, then your second color is going to be Harvest Moon, and then your third color is going to be Bama Shad. All three of these shad patterns are perfect in the summertime. Last but not least, we have two packages of Yum Soft Plastics. Our first soft plastic is a Yum 5 inch breaking shad in the color pearl white. This will go perfect on the back of your spinnerbait. Our last soft plastic is a Yum 3.75 inch warning shot and it'll go perfect on the War Eagle jig head. This has got to be our most loaded kit yet. It is absolutely stuffed. So if you want a wide variety of lures to go try out at your local creek or pond, subscribe or pick you up one on LureNet.com.